It has been a problem intersection for years. Cape Elizabeth's town center, where Scott Dyer Road and Shore Road intersect with Route 77, was designated a high crash location by the state for four years because of the number of vehicle crashes. We got to take care of some of the safety issues there. Tonight, Cape Elizabeth voted to move forward with a plan that will realign Scott Dyer Road and Shore Road. The changes also make improvements for pedestrians, like adding flashing lights to this crosswalk outside Town Hall, alerting drivers to slow down. I hope that we can really prioritize pedestrian and bike safety and creating a vibrant town center. But some residents argue that plan doesn't do enough. The council could have picked a more expensive option to put a roundabout in that intersection, which safety advocates argue would slow traffic and keep bikers and pedestrians safe. It's just a matter of when someone will be gravely injured or worse. So tonight you have the power to get out in front of this, and I implore you to choose any one of the roundabout options. But the realignment and improvement plan is paid off through DOT funding and TIF money. So counselors suggested this plan be used as a first step and then reconsider roundabout options in the future. It gives us an opportunity to make a significant enhancement right away. The town hopes to complete the improvements in 2025. In Cape Elizabeth, Anna Kuhn, CBS 13 News.